Welcome to Big Road Freight. In this video, we will provide a quick introduction to the features and screens in the Big Road Freight app. This video is for owner operators. Open your Big Road Trucking logbook app. A freight icon will show. Click this freight button to access the Big Road Freight smart load board. The first time you access Big Road Freight, you will see an explainer page. Once you proceed, you will be able to use the app, but when you click on a load to view more details, we will ask a few quick onboarding questions so we can match you with the right loads. Provide your phone number, your equipment type, and accept the terms of service. You now have full access to the app. The bottom of the app has a menu bar showing the four main screens. Access any screen by tapping on it. We'll discuss each of these features in more detail in the videos after this one. The first screen is called My Loads. It's broken up into two categories, Recommended and Active. Think of the Recommended section as your personally tailored load board. All of the loads that we've matched to you will show up here. At first, you may not see any loads in this section, but as you use the app to search and request loads, the app learns the types of loads that you like and begins filling the Recommended tab with matches. The Active tab shows all of the loads that you've interacted with. For instance, requesting a callback will add a load to the Active tab. Moving on to the Search section. If you don't see anything you like in the My Loads section, you can search to find loads on your own. Simply click Pick Up Location. You can select Shipments Nearby to find loads nearby your location, or enter a pickup location and click the arrow or magnifying glass to search. You can also get more specific by specifying a drop-off location, choosing if you want local, short, or long-haul trips, or opening the filter to specify additional information or change how search results are sorted. Next comes request a load. Use this feature to choose a date and location where you will next need a shipment. For instance, if your current load delivers in Chicago tomorrow, request a load in Chicago beginning on tomorrow's date. Request loads for any location for any date in the future, later today, tomorrow, next week, or next month. We'll start finding loads that match where your truck is going to be. There are two tabs on this screen, request a load and available loads. Use the Request a Load tab to make requests. Just like with Search, enter a pickup location and click the back arrow or the magnifying glass. You can now click Send Request to find freight going in any direction or get more specific by entering a drop-off location. You can get even more specific by clicking Advanced Options. Click Send Request to get your request into the system. When we find a load that matches your request, you will get an in-app notification and the load will show in the Available Loads tab. Come back to check the Available Loads tab every now and then to check for new loads. Lastly, come Settings. You can view and change your settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of the app. To edit any section, first click the pencil icon. Make the change, and then click Save. Click the pencil icon again to prevent accidental edits to this section. Other than phone number, equipment type, and preferred rate, you will see a section for documents. Upload your carrier packet in this section so you can email your packet and quickly get set up with a new broker or shipper. Tell us your operating lanes to help us find the best matches for you. And you can manage your communication preferences. If you want to use the app but reduce the emails and in-app notifications, change your preferences here. Returning to the My Loads page, we'll review what is shown when looking at a load. We can see pickup and drop-off locations, the date and the time, as well as the equipment required, in this instance, flatbed. We can also see the posted rate, and we see two numbers in the bottom right corner. The left number is trip mileage, or distance. The right number is deadhead from current location. 
When you see a load that interests you, click on it to get more details. You'll see additional information such as shipping notes that may be relevant to this shipment, the ability to quickly share your documents with the broker or shipper, and the contact information of the broker or shipper on the load. Click the phone or email buttons to contact the broker or shipper to book, negotiate, or ask additional questions. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch our other videos for a more detailed look at each of these features.